Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Scott. I'm the co-director of the Down Syndrome Program here at Massachusetts General Hospital. I'm joined by the extraordinary Mary Ellen <laughs> McDonough, who's our senior clinical research coordinator. And we are so excited because we have the results in from our clinical exactly. trial from Transition Therapeutics. And we did a phase two study. Can you just remind everyone, Mary Ellen, what is a phase two study? Exactly. So if they, there are three phases in clinical trials, and phase two is to make sure that the drug is safe. And the results have come in after they all have. of this hard work, and what's the main findings that we got? Main finding is there were no serious adverse events, so people did very, very well and did not have any problem. The drug is safe. So mission accomplished. Totally. That the drug is completely safe. Mm -hmm. Now, people have asked us, well, what is this drug? What are we testing? And to remind everyone, it's silo inositol, which is a drug that's believed to have two actions, one to inhibit the beta amyloid accumulation that causes Alzheimer's disease in some individuals with Down syndrome. And the second mechanism is perhaps to improve working memory mm -hmm. in individuals with Down syndrome. Now, people who participate in our study did a lot of memory tests to see whether or not that memory could improve. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have enough data to draw conclusions yet. Right. However, we did hear from parents that they felt some of the symptoms had changed throughout we the We did. Study. Parents reported to me that um, some parents reported that their children were able to focus better. Some were using words that were unusual for them. Their vocabulary improved. And overall, um, there were three sets of parents that just said they noticed a change in their uh, children. Now, you and I are big believers that parents know best. And so the right. fact that parents are picking out some changes, I think, for you and me, is very meaningful. And these were more so than those that didn't have the medication. Exactly. So there was a statistical difference. So now that we've completed phase two, what's next? So phase three is next. Yep, and that's and going to be coming down the pike soon, we hope. Right. Um, transition Therapeutics, working closely with you, myself, and other researchers to get it right. Mm -hmm. But I know you have a special message for all of those mm -hmm. families who participated in our trial. I would really like to thank every single child and young adult and parent that came and, and participated. You're definitely the pioneers. We need research for people with Down syndrome. And you took the lead, and we really, really, really appreciate it. We couldn't have done it without them. We'll see everyone in phase three. Thank you.